been like uh, coaching your son on this team? <laughs> it's been a good experience. It's been a good experience. Um, a little, a lot easier than I thought it would be um, because uh, Coach Lanning, you got Coach Tosh, you got Coach Hampton. Those guys are on his butt for everything, so they get to him before I get to him. I just wait till we get home at night. <laughs> Do you have to approach coaching him any differently than the other guys or be mindful of some of that? Nah, he's a tough kid. He's been around me all his life, so <laughs> he understands how I, work, how I get down and how I coach and how I teach, so he knows when to, when to say when. <laughs> <laughs> what were the things you identified back in the beginning of the offseason, Demetrius, about just pass defense in general and how your group, when, when Christian was as excellent as he was, mm -hmm. to the players who were returning, what were the things you were identifying to areas that you wanted to address starting here in oh, the spring? Probably anything like every, everyone else in their secondary. We want to get more takeaways. Uh, we want to be more consistent on being 100% tacklers in games and things and such like that. So just getting better with our communications and being more sure of our assignments and techniques and leverages and things like that all help with that stuff. And, you know, second year of the system, now that's, you know, starting to show up now. What was it about Kyrie Jackson that kind of made him the right fit for you guys to bring in here? Um, being that, you know, he's a longer guy. Um, he has a lot of explosions, some good ball skills. And then one of the things is the place that he come from, uh, it's very similar style of defense. Our defense is, um, I should probably not free agent friendly. Um, so guys that's been in the system and know the terminology and know some of the fits and adjustments, they usually uh, thrive in it. You talked about getting more takeaways. How much does the Florence talked about playing more nickel? How much does that factor into that? Just getting another cover guy out there and being better in just coverage across the board? Pretty much it's just, just obvious. You know, um, you're getting a guy that's used to being out there on the island covering. The Most offenses now try to put some of their better receivers in there in the slot to create mismatches versus safeties and linebackers and things like that. So if you're able to put a cover corner in there that can hold up in the run for somewhat, then, you know, you, you heighten your chances of getting some more hands on balls. I feel like he's kind of progressed this, this spring in that role. Uh, he's doing well. Um, you know, it's still new to him, a lot of – a lot of the m minor nuances within the coverage and stuff like that, but he's doing well. It's coming along. I'm, I'm happy at his progress so far. There's obviously a lot of depth at corner, at specifically defensive back. Mm -hmm. What does the competition look like for some of the younger guys buying for an increased role this year? Well, it's good. I mean, uh, you never. I mean, you're not too old. You're not too young. Best man play. So these guys that came in early did themselves a really good good service by getting in here early to get this spring ball in, and then it all starts over again for fall camp. So then that's when you can really tell. A lot, you, there's a lot of thinking out there. There's a lot of slow foot. There's a lot of uh, second guessing and things and such like that out there right now where they're not showing their true athleticism yet. You know what I'm saying? So just giving them a chance to learn that kind of stuff and then turn them loose when we get back again. Where is Dante Manning's game at this year compared to a year ago? Um, just a, trending upwards. He's doing things now that – what I'm happy with Dante, uh, he's correcting mistakes before I have to correct him. I don't, I don't know how the way, right way to say that, but he's, he's, he's identifying his mistakes where last year it, was, it had to be pointed out to him. Now this year he knows, hey, and I'm like, yeah, eyes, right? Yeah, hands, right? Yeah, so those type of things are where his game is, you know, growing at. Is that partially a product of him being in this defense for a second year, or is that something he's taken upon himself? Um, I, I, would, I, would say, I would say that has some things to do with it, but then just because it's come with his confidence now, and things and such like that. So he understands the cause. He knows where he's supposed to be. He's been in it for a whole year. So now, now he can fine tune those little fine mistakes that he's making. Yeah. Maybe unfair to compare anybody to Christian necessarily mm -hmm. immediately, but yeah. how confident are you that in the group right now that you have a, a CB1? That you have a clear half the field guy in the group? I'll, I'll, I'll hold that opinion until everybody gets here. You know, everybody's not here in camp yet. And once they get here, you know, we got guys that are still running track in high school and things and such like that. So once they get here, I'll be able to be able to make that assessment. But Gonzo is a pretty, pretty tall measuring stick. And, and he was a guy who did win it when he enrolled in August. And it's back in Colorado, I'm talking yeah. about as a mm -hmm. freshman. Yeah. A screwy season that was in 20. Mm -hmm. What was he able to show when he first came in? that made it possible for him and what does somebody like him who's coming in later mm -hmm. have to show to do the same thing? Well, there was a funny situation. We needed a CB2. They had a CB1, but we didn't have a CB2, and Gonzo was in the safeties room. So I pleaded with the head coach to give him to me at corner, and then he did, and then it took off from there. What, what does he owe to not just yourself and plenty of others, but mm -hmm. to those guys in high school, those guys back at, yeah, mm -hmm. where 
guys who moved him from offense to defense, the mm -hmm. transfer and all that, just mm -hmm. how much does he owe to the many people along the way where next Thursday is going to be a pretty celebrated night for a lot of you? Well, I mean, shoot. I mean, just, just the simple fact that they gave him an opportunity and put him in those situations because those different situations that he was in helped him, helped groom him for what he is now, playing offense, playing different sports, going back and forth, getting cut as a freshman or, you know, playing soft freshman ball and not starting and all that. That all helped, helped who he is now. You found a lot of some great success recruiting over the past few years. What mm -hmm. is it about you, in your own words, that's, that's allowed you to find this success? Um, I don't know, just kind of just being myself more so than anything and um, being a good listener. I think that's a, that's a trait that a lot of recruiters might not exercise. They'd rather be the talker than the listener. When you choose to experiment with moving a guy positionally, how collaborative mm -hmm. is that process and who's involved in Oh, like everyone that. is. Everyone on defense is, you know, um, shoot, offense alike. I mean, like you guys, you, you know, you got guys that can play offense, defense. Obviously, the offensive coaches have yeah. to be involved in that. And, you know, on defense, moving guys around has have to be a collaborative decision because everybody's have to work independently to get that guy caught up. So, you know, different meeting times, different individuals, different techniques, things and such like that. It all plays. Well plays big. Is it, is it ever difficult to let a guy go from your room to maybe to a different spot or only when they come back and they make a mistake on the field when they <laughs> wasn't in your meeting on something that you went over. Like I just went over that today, man. Oh, you wasn't in there. You know, that type of thing. So yeah. When, when you add the number of guys in the off season that you do and some who are still on the way. Mm -hmm. People read into that is that you're trying to overhaul the position a bit and bring mm -hmm. in new you know, talent acquisition is a big mm -hmm. part of it. How much what is the message you're trying to send to the guys who are returning in your room about urgency, about improvement, mm -hmm. about development, that, yes, competition is coming and it's yeah. increasing and there's, a, there's an end goal here? They, they know that. They know me. This will go back to the question about recruiting. They know that from the get-go. When I first walk in the door, hey, man, I'm here to – my job depends on me getting guys that are better than you. Your job is those guys that I think they're better than you show that they're not. Simple. You get to watch Troy Franklin every day in practice. What has yeah. he kind of added to his game? How has he improved over the last year, do you think? Um, I think his urgency on every rep now. You know, where maybe last year he may have took a rep or two off and things and such like that. But now, he, I mean, he goes hard every rep. So now his routes look the same as his run blocks. You know, things and such like that. So little things in his game that he's tweaked that Coach Adams has done a hell of a job, you know, getting him caught up with is, uh, is, is nice to see. It's nice to see. What is the next step for Troy Quez? For track West Bridges, what do you want to see out of him next season? Um, the, the ability to uh, make make the plays, make the plays like he did last year. He made some really good plays, but there were a lot of plays that he left out there, and I think that uh, he'd be ready to start and make those plays. Him, him being cross trained, playing multiple positions on defense, also is going to help him out a lot. You know, so I think he understands where his fits are and know how to get everybody else lined up. So being more of a leader, and I think that's where Troy is being really strong at right now.